Today I'm showing you around uh, Sloop number 94, which is a waterside lodge at Centre Parks at Elverdon Forest. Uh, you may have seen, I've stayed at quite a few different lodges here at Centre Parks, in particular in Elverdon, because this is located just an hour from my house. So first of all, we've got the outside area. It's still pretty new. These lodges opened in May. These are the stairs that lead you down to the back, which will make sense a little bit later. And this is like a little hidden area for the cleaner and maintenance people so first of all you've got the usual access wristband which is also a locker for the swimming pool so as you come in you've got this little entrance way just here uh, for hanging up your coats like a little mini sort of boot room it's really really convenient actually because you can just leave all your stuff here and you haven't got to clutter up anywhere else and then you've just got all the usual sort of stuff now this lodge is decorated in like a nautical sort of style so first off the bat they have changed the doors here since they first opened because people kept looking in them it's just wonderful when you're paying lots of money to have someone having a look at you but anyway here is the hallway love these light fittings beautiful and not filled with dust which is just incredible so this is a three bedroom lodge the first room is the aft cabin or aft cabin so each of the rooms is en suite this room is a twin room with two wardrobes um, and like a porthole style window i'll just show you a quick look at what you can see outside that's the view you get your own parking that's the parking on the end for this lodge and then you've got wardrobes which just come with hangers in and each room has got two wardrobes a little sort of area for getting organized this me hello as you can see our lodge is lived in we've already been here for a day having great fun got a tv the twin room has got an ensuite shower room got the usual overhead rain full foresty shower with a backdrop which is very cute and you've got heated towel row. Then you've got the usual facilities, toilet, sink and mirror, and little shelving. It's all really adorable. So that's the first room. And then as you walk further down, you've got cupboard here, which has got cot and some cleaning products. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but there's some big ventilation system here, which has a vent there which is making air come out and it's not hot air and i'm here in january but anyway here is the next room it is the port cabin these are absolutely adorable again television dressing area this time a double bed wardrobes bedside tables lots of plugs here i'll just show you them because if you're like me this is really essential so you've got the main switch and a lamp and then you've got two plugs and two USB. So that's the sort of thing that I want to know about. Then you've got the television and right by the television you've got Bluetooth, HDMI and USB ports as well. If you want to connect anything to the telly, then this is another ensuite shower room. So as you can see, the shelving is really, really helpful and the mirror is absolutely adorable and you've got shaving ports here you've got 115 volt and is it 230 so yeah whatever sort of products you need and then um each loo has got like an eco-friendly toilet where you've got two different flushes and yeah it's all very clean and fresh and again you've got the huge decoration on the wall artwork wall feature whatever you want to call it anyway this is the ceiling in this room and as it goes through into the other room which i'll show you shortly you can see it's got a nice curve in here in these rooms you've got nets and curtains and you have a little switch here on the wall which brings down a blind doesn't feel essential from the point of view of people watching you but it's very much essential for the natural light. You have a balcony here, which I'm going to show you more of shortly. It's a shared balcony for the two double rooms. And then you've obviously got this glass balcony. I'm going to take you out there. I'm just going to show you one more look at the third bedroom. It's another double. You might wonder why I'm showing you again. So this is what they look like when they're made up. Absolutely adorable. Again, dressing area, etc. And then in this wardrobe, there is a safe obviously to pop all your valuables in just to keep them secure 
And then there is another bathroom. This uh, bathroom has a hydro bath. So you've got the handheld and the overhead rainfall showers, but you've got a hydro bath as well. It will not activate until it's like two thirds full. Then all the bathrooms have got lots of good facilities. Like this has got heated towel row again, which is absolutely lovely and so warm. It's unbelievable. Now I'm just gonna show you out onto the balcony. the shared balcony you have got a table and two chairs and an ashtray because you can smoke out here this is the view so just to remind you I'm in lodge number 94 it's called a sloop I have no idea why I think it might be something to do with boats but anyway there's the little jetty that you've got if you want to go fishing etc and then a little peek at downstairs let me just take you downstairs so all the lodges feel really secure because all the doors have this lock on them keeps it locked tight and you can have this for sort of privacy or you can put the heavy curtains over if you obviously want to get a good night's sleep and again you can see why that blind is needed because it's actually quite bright so I love this room in all the rooms that the lighting there's this light in here it's really cute I love that it just feels like very warm in so now I'm gonna just show you downstairs like all the big center parks lodges obviously built with families in mind so they've got stair gates and they've got handrails you can go down fairly easy the only thing is i feel that these stairs are quite steep and my husband who's six foot two and got size 11 feet he feels the steps are a little bit short next got this little decoration in the hall as you go down and round another stair gate at the bottom obviously to keep the little ones safely upstairs or downstairs and then as you go in here You've got two cupboards in the hall, got automatic lighting, which is great. So that's the cleaner's cupboard. So this is the downstairs toilet. It's quite functional, just straightforward really. It's cute. It's fairly warm, which I think is quite unusual for Centre Park's toilets, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, this is the main hall area. So now I'm gonna show you around the kitchen and the living space and the outside space. You can have a little look through the porthole window, it's very cute. So first up, we've got kitchen area. You have a microwave, fridge, wine cooler, there's the essentials. Then you've got an oven, which has got oven trays and grill trays, an absolute ton of cupboard space, so all those cupboards are empty. And that cupboard and that cupboard, and that's where the plates are, because I looked in almost every cupboard but there. Some of the items are in the dishwasher right now, but you can see that you get a pretty fairly well stocked kitchen. In the dishwasher are two or three of the items from this drawer. And then you've got this little cute little decor. These little touches are very sweet. You've got a little window just for a little bit more light. And then you've got a doorbell here, which I don't, I think maybe the tree house had a doorbell, but you've got a doorbell here. You've got a Bose sound system. Um, a toaster you've got a kettle and a coffee machine and they leave you coffees and they've been replenishing them so that's good then over here you've got a dining area which um, obviously seats six because this lodge is designed for six people although you could have more then you've got a breakfast bar here you've got this lovely seating area it's really cute now I love these sort of window seats they're nice the only thing is if you did sit in the window, you'd be accidentally looking into your neighbour's lodge. Then you've got these battery powered lights by the fireplace. Now there's a basket of wood there, but you can't use that wood, it's purely decorative. And when I was in the tree house, they had a basket full of fire logs, and I think that would be better here, because they're all screwed together and it doesn't feel very family friendly. But apart from that, you've got a massive TV, so that's obviously great. My little one's having a snooze because she finds the sofa's really comfy. Now this lodge only um, is suitable for six people and usually I find the seating to be a little bit stingy at Centre Parks, but this is brilliant. There's plenty of seats for everyone. 
just show you another look at the room so there's a little look at the seating area you can see there's lots of seats not stingy unlike some of the lodges so now I'm going to show you outside there is a huge deck just here I'll just take you out here so you can see that there's a really sturdy table and chairs better than any of the furniture at any of the parks that I've and lodges that I've ever stayed at. There's a gas barbecue, they had to come out and change the gas bottle, but that was fine. And then over here, there's a little gated area. Um, just so that's obviously designed to keep your little ones in, which obviously will only work if they're small, but you know, they're probably trustworthy if they're tall enough to open this. Then you've got a hot tub here. Obviously, it's all, it's all cracking. And you've got a little fishing area with a net and fishing rods and reels and tackle. And you need a license. So, just show you those for a second. It's going to be in there soon. And then as you come down the little jetty area, you can obviously see the lake, which looks beautiful right now. And there is lots of wildlife here. I actually really like Elverdon for wildlife in general anyway, but these ducks are utterly adorable. Lots of birds. And when you start feeding them, they will come down and there will be 50 plus ducks and birds and geese. The geese are a little bit aggressive, but that's not really the fault of Centre Park. So you can see the main Elverdon Lake here. That's where they do cable skiing. And over there is where they have boats. Not sure you can really see because it's quite bright now. And the water, obviously here comes some ducks now. And so I'll just walk out a little bit more. I'm very nervous on this jetty. So you can have a little look back at the lodge. So yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and i showed you earlier the stairs and there they are so yeah my final thoughts on the lodge are that it's really family friendly it's really fun love the hot tub it's cheaper than a tree house and for me it's more enjoyable because you don't have so many people coming down trying to look through the window or look over the fence to see you in your hot tub so so far i've been here two days haven't had any problems apart from the empty gas bottle on the barbecue but obviously you can't predict that and that's it as always if you found this video useful hit me with a thumbs up um i paid for my stay here and all my stays at center park thus far so yeah i hope you found it useful and if you've got any questions don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching bye